Good morning, Bobcats, and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for WBLS Morning News, coming to you from Buck Lake Elementary School in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bobcats, and you may be seated. Today is Tuesday, April the 6th of 2021. It's special area day two, that special area day two. We want to wish these Bobcats a very happy birthday. First of all, I've got to backtrack a little bit and wish RJ in fifth grade, a very happy birthday. She celebrated her birthday last week, and her name was not on our list, and uh, I got to have her at media that day, so we wished her a happy birthday, but I hope you continued and had a, a wonderful birthday, RJ. Also, today we've got um, several birthdays. We've got Ellie in fourth grade, happy birthday. We've got Dylan Fleming in fifth grade. We've got Cody Jensen in third grade. We've got Shayla in second grade. And in Miss, we've got Miss Washington, one of our second grade teachers. It's your birthday today, Miss Washington. Happy, happy birthday. If you see any or all of these Bobcats out today, please make sure and wish them a very happy birthday. Let's take a look at our weather forecast for this terrific Tuesday. That's what the weather forecast is going to be. It's going to be a high of 81 degrees, a low of 52, with sensational sunny skies all day long today. There's a chance of rain rolling in later this week, but um, we're going to need that for our flowers and our gardens out there, so we will be thankful for that. Let's check out what's cooking today in the Buck Lake Cafeteria. Here's the menu for today. Turkey, ham and cheese croissant, veggie juice, baked beans, assorted fruit, and white chocolate or strawberry milk. As you return today, please make sure and pick up after yourself. Check your tabletop. Check around the floor. Make sure you get the trash into the trash can. And most of all, please make sure and use your polite manners with all of our helpers. Our wonderful Wednesdays this year have been so much fun to bring our Digital Academy kids and our brick and mortar friends all together as one on a fun spirit day each Wednesday. Well, this week, our wonderful Wednesday is right up my alley. It is Bobcats have great character, so you get to dress up as your favorite book character for the day. Now listen, it doesn't have to be super fancy. You can be creative, think outside of the box. That's what Miss Young's going to do this year. And I have lots of different uh, costume opportunities in a great big bag in my closet. But I'm going to um, do my most favorite book that I love to read to my very own children when they were little. And that's the book I'm going to um, shoes. And so I'm going to have to be a little creative with it. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. Now you don't need to send your pictures to Miss Ryan anymore. She has sent off that yearbook. We can't wait to see it. Now please send any pictures you do have to Miss Young, whether you're at home with Digital Academy or whether you're at school and uh, we'll share them on the air. We want to congratulate a fifth grade girl, Miss Natalia Walker from fifth grade. You completed the Sunshine State Principles Challenge. That means you read and passed all 15 Sunshine State books. So we will get your star up soon. You, listen, you started off strong at the beginning of the year and you finished strong. And Miss DeLillo 
Uh, and I are so proud of you and all of our students who've met the challenge. Listen, we have so many stars up and we are so proud of you. Mr. Millard is going to let me know when he is ready for the principal's lunch. The exciting thing is we have to have more than one because we have so many friends who have met that challenge. Now, even if you're not going to meet the principal's challenge, if you choose not to do that, third, fourth, and fifth graders, remember, third grade, if you read 10, and pass the test. Fourth grade, read 12, and fifth grade, read 14, and you pass all those tests, then you will get to join us for our celebration at the end of the year, which is always a lot of fun. Our friends who are at home with Digital Academy, we're going to include you, those of you who met the Principal's Challenge. Remember, you're going to get a copy of Mr. Millard's favorite childhood book, um, and as well, we are going to, you'll be able to zoom in for our lunch and we're going to see what we can do about getting you a special uh, lunch delivered as well. So we are so excited. Now, speaking of excited and speaking of Sunshine State, it's time to vote for your favorite book for this year. If you read at least three of the books, whether it's Sunshine State Young Readers Award or Sunshine State Junior Books, you are eligible to vote for your favorite. And what's going to happen is they're going to take all the votes from around the whole entire state from children. They're going to combine those and they will come up with a winner for the state. Now, Ms. Young has a link that I will share out on my Buck Lake media page. I'll share it to the Facebook page. I will send it out to teachers if they would like to share it, if they want to write it on the board. It will take less than one minute to a vote, and then we will have a winner for Buck Lake Elementary School in both categories, as well as then we will find out who the winner is for the state. And then at the end of the month, at the end of April, they will actually announce the new list of Sunshine State books for next school year. Okay, so I'll get that information out to you, but I will have the information for sure on the Buck Lake media page. Go find Ms. Young's face under special area. I'll put it on that first page. Um, and so you can vote for it there. Hey, that's all for today, Bobcats. I hope all of you have a wonderful day with your teachers, with our faculty and staff. We have the best in the world. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be respectful, and always, always, always be responsible. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Have a great day.